Yes, we can. Um, these are those are words that we always had in our vocabulary, and now um, because of this event today, we have a brand new meaning to it. Um, for my generation, as well as those younger than me, especially my brother and sister, it's, it's just amazing. And especially as a young woman, black woman actually, um, attending university, there's so many obstacles and barriers that we have to face. And today it just shows that anything is possible. Um, dreams come true, so yeah. But do you know that in 1960, Sammy Davis Jr. was asked not to appear, not to perform for the candidate that he had endorsed that he had helped to deliver to the White House because of the color of his skin. And so for me, because that happened a few years before I was born, somebody's laughing. It really did happen a few years before I was born. To me, thinking back to the 1961 inauguration, I had a person we consider today to be very liberal-minded, to be very much a friend of the black community, and then to watch here with you in this institution, in this city, with my American friend, Ruben Hurricane Carter, to see a black man sworn in as the 44th President of the United States of America, I think that is, the, that is sort of the, the ultimate representation of really how far we've come in the time that I've been on this earth. When you face your challenges and you're told that you cannot because of, I believe this moment you can say in spite of, I believe I can because I've witnessed a great moment. It is critically important that you use this moment to fortify yourself. Use this moment as a time of inspiration, a time of strength to move forward to achieve your goal. Whatever your goal will be, let no one stand in your way because truly you can. And I'm telling you that you must become something even greater than any of us here. You have the ability to do it. We have been pushing not to realize things for ourselves. We have been pushing so that the doors will be open for every one of you. Black children, South Asian children, Asian children, white children, poor children, so that we will realize that when we walk together, we walk in strength. Yes. A dream of equality and achievement is realized today as Barack Obama has become the President of the United States. The sacrifice and the dedication of people like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Lincoln Alexander, Dr. Howard McCurdy, Dr. Herb Carnegie, Mrs. Akende, we thank you because through what he's done, it's only given back a small part to what you have sacrificed for us. We thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> With the inauguration of President Obama, we are now taking part in an exciting new chapter of human history. Old partitions such as racism and sexism must be relegated to the past and our bright futures embraced. The election of Obama shows that there's no achievement that is beyond the grasp of hope. It is our right to aspire and achieve greatness. As someone said before, color and other excuses are long gone. We cannot have those anymore. We have to put our eyes forward and work. Work for what others have proven to us is possible.